The next thing I want to talk about briefly is how to control sounds that are playing on your Montage or Modi X with an external controller. You might wonder why you might want to do that, but uh, perhaps you have an additional keyboard uh, to control specific parts, or maybe um, in the case of the Modi X, you are missing the fact that you have all of these sounds that respond to aftertouch, but your keyboard can't actually generate those MIDI control notes. So uh, on this particular performance, Oxygen, uh, we have a lovely aftertouch effect, which you'll hear when I press in here, where it adds some vibrato to it. You won't be able to do that on your Modi X, um, but what we can do here is we can plug in a keyboard that does have aftertouch and uh, get access to it. So to do that, all we need to do is have a MIDI track that is targeting the uh, appropriate part. So in this case, it's part one. Um, and we'll make sure that it's targeting um, MIDI channel uh, port one and channel one, which is where my part is. And now I can play using another keyboard. So I've got my Phantom here, which is a terrible demonstration for aftertouch because its aftertouch implementation is horrific. But I also have my Seaboard turned on, uh, and so I can implement aftertouch with that. I can also control multiple parts. So let's just open up another performance with lots of parts. I'm going to turn off the arpeggiator so that uh, it doesn't keep playing while I'm talking. And now I should be able to see all of these parts playing when each one is targeted. So I've got eight parts and each one is targeting a particular track. So part one, part two, part three, etc. If I record arm all of those by shift clicking the top and the bottom and hitting record, there we go, um, then now I can use something that uh, can change its MIDI output channel to control each individual sound. So let's uh, use the Phantom and I can control part one, part two, And all I'm doing there is just changing the transmission channel that the Phantom is using. Um, any uh, synthesizer that can output multiple channels at the same time would allow you to control multiple parts. So on the Phantom, I could, say, uh, I could tell it to broadcast on channel one and channel four on two different Phantom zones, for example, and control individual parts of the montage performance in that way. If you want to have particular channels respond only to a particular external synthesizer, then you can do that by specifying what the input port is. So let's have port 1 respond only to the Seaboard, and let's have port 2 respond only to the Phantom on channel 1. So now, with those all armed, I'll play a few notes on the Phantom, and a few notes on the Seaboard. And at the same time, so that's a basic demo of how to control your montage with an external controller.